Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to copy paste data in a range to another range or another place in the same worksheet or in a different worksheet or in a different workbook in Excel using VBA macros. So let's go to the Visual Basic Editor and I'm going to have three modules. In the first module we will see how to copy the data in the same worksheet. So I'm going to call it copy paste range, let's say same WS, same worksheet. So if we are working in the same worksheet, the active sheet, we don't have to worry about what's the name of the worksheet, we don't have to reference the worksheet. So we could just simply say range, whatever range we want to copy, let's say we want to copy A1, the ID and the username, and we want to copy that, uh, there are there are two ways to do it. We can do it in the same line using the destination property of the copy and here specify the range where we're going to put it. Let's say we want to put it starting in column G1. We can specify the whole range G1 to H2. Okay, I said 2 but actually I wanted to say um, 16 or we just refer the first uh, cell where it will start pasting. So and let me correct this. B2 no B, B16. We want to copy we want to copy all the rows. So this line would copy this range into the range from G1 to H16. And as you see we've copied that over here. Now this is the, the best way to do it, the way I use, but you can do it in two lines. So if you do it in two lines you need to use the paste a special method, not paste, paste is only for a worksheet, paste is special. We will we'll look into that in a moment. You use paste special and this is doing the same as, as we did. Now paste special allows you to, to add parameters to determine, for example, what you want to paste. There are a lot of more possibilities using paste special, right? You can only paste formats, only paste formulas, and so on. And and then and then you can skip blanks, for example, you can transpose, you can do many more things with Paste Special, but I will cover that in a different video. In this one, we're gonna just go through simple copy paste. So if I leave this as is, this would this would copy that range over here. Now you see when we copy a range, it has these lines, dash lines around the the range that we have copied. If we want to get rid of those, we can simply do that with application cat copy mode equals false, and that will avoid having those those lines. So you see, I've run this again. It has copy over here, but we don't have any lines. Okay, so that was easy, right? Now let's see how to do it. Let's see how to paste it in a different sheet. So let me put that in another module so that it's, it's, it's basically the same, but with a very important difference. So let me take again this, and now we're gonna say copy paste range uh, another worksheet, for example, right? So if this is what we did before, right? Copy paste this somewhere else, the destination. So if we want to copy something in sheet one to sheet two or whatever other sheet. So we should start referencing from which sheet we are copying. Or, well, if we don't specify the worksheet here before range, it's gonna assume we are using the active sheet. But it's better to target sheet, to, to specify the sheet. So from sheet one, range in sheet one, we copy and then we want to put it in sheet two dot and this is if we specify the range. There are two ways to do it. Let me let me show you maybe the first way is in two separate lines. Then we need to put it in another line. We need to specify in which sheet we want to paste this. And then we use the paste method, only paste. The sheet has a paste method. And this is gonna paste whatever we, we, we say here in the exact same place, but in another sheet. Okay, so we're gonna run this, but before I do that, notice that I've used here the sheet object name, which is the same as the sheet name here, yes, by default, 
but this could be a different name, right? This could be data. So if we want to target this by, by name, we would write sheets data like that. So you see now we have here sheet one, which is the object name and data, which is the sheet name. We can also change the object name here in the properties window. Now, why is this important? Well, if you have a macro for, for users in your company, for your colleagues, and then they come here and they say, oh, data, no, this, I want to rename this to whatever, month uh, data or whatever. If they rename this and you have put this in the, in the macro, you are referring to data, then it will prompt an error. It, it will not recognize, it will not find that that sheet anymore. So that's why it's better to use the object name. In this case, sheet one, or as I said, you can also change it. Then if you lock your VBA project, the users cannot change that at all, right? Uh, that's the best thing you could do. So so that's that's um, how, to, how to work with sheets. Now, if we start in sheet one and we take this range, and then we put it in sheet two, we paste it. So we, this is a very straightforward copy paste from sheet one. We need to specify the, the range to sheet two. If I run this, here's the range that we have copied from sheet one. Now you need to put here range. You don't need to put it here if you use paste. But if you want to put it in sheet two in a different range, then you would not use space. You would specify the range. Let's say we want to put it now in C1, starting in C1, then you would use the paste special because when you use a the range, there's no paste. There is paste special as we did before. Let me remove this. If I go here and we can run this from whatever sheet because we are not using active sheet we are specifying exactly from which sheet to which sheet so even if I'm sh in sheet 3 I can safely run this and it has copied from here to here now in C1 now we can also put it in one line as we did before using the destination here right so if I just do this I don't need to put this anymore so if I run it, well, of course, we already had this, but it has copied again the data here. Let me maybe change to starting in A1. And this is copying now our range in starting A1. Now, be careful with this. You cannot just put sheet here. This will not work because the copy method accepts a parameter that is a range. So it needs to be a range. If you don't care about the range, you just want to have it, then, then just put it in a separate line. You just want to have it as it is, uh, but in another sheet, then you just use this other form. Now, if you say, I, I want to copy the whole sheet, not, not just this range, the whole sheet, whatever it is in this sheet, I want to copy. Uh, let me remove this maybe. I want to copy the whole sheet to uh, to this one here. Then there are several possibilities. One way, I, I don't recommend this way, but one way would be to say sheet one cells. All the cells in sheet one paste in sheet two. Now you will see it takes, it, it, it was fast, but it can take some time because he's copying the entire, the entire um, sheet. You don't need to copy the entire sheet, really, because you only have data here. Why to make the computer, you know, work harder to copy all the cells? You don't want to copy all the cells. So it's better to, to say, copy the used range in sheet two. So let me now remove this. We do it again. Now you see if we run it, it shows it has only taken, okay, it has taken up to column H because we had some data before. So it has recognized somehow that the used range spans now till 
column H, but not a big deal. It has pasted in the other sheet everything here. So now, what about copy paste into another workbook, right? So let me put that again in another module, and I'm gonna call this copy paste another workbook. Well, copy paste range. In the previous example, we were copy pasting the entire sheet, but it was actually a range in the sheet. And actually, I didn't say that here, but when we do these things, it's better to put things in, in variables. So, so the code is cleaner, easier to read also. For example, we'll say WS1 as a worksheet and WS2 as a worksheet. WS1 is the source sheet and WS2 the, the destination sheet. And we have to specify that and then we have sheet two. Let's put it here in this other variable. Now we can say WS1, WS2, right? This is a better way to do it. It's more code, yes, but if we have a bigger macro and we are gonna do it several times, it's better to just use this. Now, why I explain this here? Because this is very useful, especially when we, when we want to copy to a different workbook. So, as we did before, we're going to now have WB1 as a workbook and WB2. So, and here's the thing, you need to specify which is the source workbook. Let's say we want to copy from the active workbook or more specifically from this workbook with the macro. Now, I don't have any other workbook open, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new workbook. So whatever workbook I add, when I run this, it's going to be WB2. And then, of course, be careful if you already added the next time you refer to that workbook with the name. I'll show you in a moment after we add it. Now, if we are copying from this workbook, we do not really need to specify this workbook. We can go directly to use sheet one in this workbook because it is an object in this workbook. It recognizes as an object in this workbook, and we can do it as before. But if workbook one is another workbook, let me come back here. Instead of this workbook, we, we, we say workbooks. This is workbook book one, which is this workbook. But imagine it's a, it's a different one, XLSM. Yeah? We are targeting oh, workbooks. We are targeting the workbook with the name. We don't need to provide the path because it's open. So now if we use W1, we cannot target now the sheet by the object name. We need to target the sheet with the sheet name or the sheet index, if it is the first sheet in the workbook, the second sheet, and so on. So now we should use this sheet name. And then the range, let's say we want to have again range a1 through B16. And we copy. Now we want to copy this and paste it in another workbook, which is going to be workbook 2. And we want to paste it in workbook 2. Let's say whatever active sheet, when we add a new workbook, it will have probably just one sheet, and it will be the active sheet. This workbook will become the active workbook at that point, and we can paste, paste it right there. If we want to specify a particular range uh, in that sheet, then we would use paste special. So let me run this and see what it does. OK, it has opened another workbook. You see it's here, book two, and it has pasted in the active sheet, which is sheet with the name sheet one from here. Now, if I want to do it again, since we already have book two, we wouldn't do this. We would do workbooks book two. And look at this. I don't put any extension because book two has not yet been saved. So you need to be careful about that. But of course, the best thing you should do is to save the workbook. So after after you add a workbook, you could um, you could do save or save as 
right? And then save it as an XLSM or XLSS or whatever, right? But since we didn't save it, we have to use this. Now, let's say we want to copy the rest of the data from C1 to C16. And uh, again, here, or let's say now we want to have that data in different columns. Let's say we want to have it starting in F1. So we have to use then paste special. With the range, paste special. With the sheet, we can use paste only. Now, if I run this, we come back here. This is book one. It has copy now, oh, only this. Over here, starting in F1, because that's what we, that's what we had here in the code. So that's how we copy paste data in a range in Excel to another range in the same sheet or to another worksheet or even to another workbook using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.